Nearly 2 million people are affected by hospital-acquired infections every single year. Despite stringent hand-washing policies and the use of gloves by health care workers, patients can still become sick in the hospital. Now there's an effective new weapon against the deadly bacteria. It's copper. Maureen Daly's mother was admitted to a hospital for surgery on a broken shoulder. Three months later, she was dead. My mom died because of something that could have been prevented. Maybe the doctor touched something that was contaminated. Maybe there was MRSA on the doorknob. I don't know. I don't know how it got into her, but I know it got in because something that could have been prevented. Now, six years later, a trial is underway to do just that, to reduce the spread of potentially deadly bacteria. They're using copper. It's been recognized as a bacteria-fighting material for thousands of years, and for this study, it's been installed in high-touch areas in hospitals. And once we put the copper in, we were really pleasantly surprised at how well copper worked and how quickly it brought those levels down. We were really shocked at first at how many microbes were on surfaces like bed rails, even in spite of the best efforts of our cleaning crew. Copper surfaces reduced the bacteria in the intensive care unit by more than 90 percent, but will that translate into fewer hospital-acquired infections? It should follow that it indeed does. We're studying this issue in the intensive care unit Be because while the infection rate in, an, in a hospital is 1 in 20. The infection rate in an ICU is 3 out of 10. In the hospital setting, if we can do something, if we can do anything to prevent infections before they occur, then our patients will be safer, our patients will be healthier. At North Shore University Hospital on Long Island, Dr. Hirsch also uses a custom copper stethoscope and patient chairs fitted with copper trays. In other hospital rooms, there are copper bedside trays, a copper-covered computer mouse and keyboard, door handles and push plates, and copper tubing to replace stainless IV poles and bed rails. There's even copper on the arms of a guest chair, another surface with a surprisingly high bacteria count. These materials um, have been tested in the lab and shown to reduce to kill more than 99.9% .9 of bacteria. You don't expect people to die from lack of cleanliness, from people not washing their hands, from things that can be prevented. You just don't. Now, copper does not kill bacteria on contact. It can take from up to about five minutes to up to two hours, depending on the concentration of the bacteria on the surface. But it is proving effective in at least slowing the spread of the bugs. And for more information, you can check out the links and numbers section of our website, wcstv.com.